previously on board. Hello, LZ, it is. And um, and right now in studio, Jumi Meraki. Yes, sir. Welcome to Lowell. Yes, nice thank to you. have you here. It, it's, it's an honor and a privilege. An I, honor and a privilege. Thank you. So many people have uh, have mentioned your name as a potential uh, um, guest here on the show. So uh, well, you, you are seen and spoken of very highly in the com- comedic industry. Thank you. Uh, a lot of EFTs have gone out since. Uh, <laughs> thank, you. thank you. All right. You've got a hard act to follow as well. Yes. One knighted uh, rower. Oh. One um, PGA Tour golf winner. Uh, uh, one of our greatest rugby players in the country, Skulk Berger, and also a guy, Mike Horn. Have you heard of him? Mike Horn? Yes. What did Mike Horn do? He helped our cricketers beat the Poms. Go, Mike Horn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just excited about Skulk the Berger. So I missed Skulk. Why Skulk did you tell me he was coming? No, no, no. He was on the phone. Oh. But at the hospital, he's oh. uh, he just had a, had a child. Mm, that's nice. Named Skulk. Oh, wow. How modest. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the seventh skulk in the family. Yeah. So uh, a hard act to follow with all of those people today. Yes, such great. Um, all I am is just you know the greatest female comic to come out of this country. But there we go. That's not much. That's that's nothing. I'm just I'm being so modest right now. <laughs> that is that is ranking. Uh, yeah, blow your own trumpet. <laughs> blow your own trumpet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go go. Honey, me blowing well. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> there we go. Well, listen, if Mark Banks, one of the legends of South African comedy, says you've got to get Tumi Meraki in, yeah, then, you know, I mean. Oh, Mark, he's precious. I really am going to have to put out for that. And by put out, I mean it's me, the bucket, the mop, the vacuum cleaner, his <laughs> house. That's what it is. <laughs> Who who is your uh, who is your comedic um, person that you that you've looked up to? Wanda Sykes and Richard Pryor. Wanda Sykes and Richard Pryor. So yeah. you're a you're a child of the uh, the seventies and early eighties <laughs> comedians. And you're not yeah. that old though. No, I'm not. I'm an eighties baby. Yeah. But um, I watched a lot of old movies, and I, I don't know for some reason because of my mother, that's how it's been. Even with music, right? My husband thinks I'm an ancient fossil because when we play music, uh-huh. I'm like we we, we backtracking. We saw oh. Gladys Knight and the Pips. Gladys Knight, That's Barry where we White. Are. We were all the way back. Yeah. I've got, I've got this. Oh my word! My mom had this double CD from, um, from the sixties. Yeah. It was crazy. It has Jimi Hendrix guy, hey, but Joe. he does this, this solo where I'm like, but, but that is wow. What is that? But he is. I'm like, that's beautiful, and uh, yes. So I like old things. Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye. Is Marvin Gaye. Everyone oh. likes Marvin Gaye. They're not just yeah. Uh, it's not just not just, just. Uh, people from that era. But I'm not that old. I'm into John Bon Jovi as well. Yeah. It was very weird. It was very weird for my friends at that time in high school, but they Wh- got over which it. Which was where? <laughs> which was in Mafi Gang. Okay. Uh, or Mahi Gang. I don't know where we are politically. It could be Mahi Gang. Well, it, it was Mafi. Ma it was Mafi King. And then it went to. They swapped yes, the two Mafi letters King, around. Yes, Mafi King. Then Mafi King. Then Mahi Gang. Then Maba. To so me, I'm like, I don't. Wherever you are politically, that's where <laughs> <laughs> geographically. That's it. What yeah. What do you do growing up in a place like Mafi King? Well, I didn't have babies. Whoa! Um, <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? I drank a lot. I learned how to smoke weed. I I ek het zeven Afrikaans gepraat minsta. Ek was proper fifty four percent Burmese, and then not hundred percent. Ne, and then <laughs> I moved to Joburg, and it all flew away. Uh, all gone. Yes, it's all gone now. I don't know why Mark said he should bring me here. I, I don't do very well with radio, but then it's visual, so maybe I don't know. Uh, you did no, fine. You did it. Me, I was Listen, excited. Don't overthink it. Yeah, okay. no, don't Because initially it. I was excited. I was like Dragon Ball Z, and they're like, no, it's balls, <laughs> not Ball Z. So I, I like, know why uh, you say Dragon Balls because I think when you try and find balls, because the first thing that probably happens with all the comedians when we say. Uh, come to Balls Radio, yes. go and Google it. Yes. And what comes up for it? Dragon Balls. <laughs> or a porn site. So they think it's something completely different. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And I saw all that sport and I was like, holy maloney. Yeah. Sport. Do you watch sport? Me. You don't have to Suck. talk about sport though. No. Suck. But do you watch it? I watch Suck. Local. Local. And then my husband, since we got married, told me because we married in community of property, by law, I'm required to support Man United. <laughs> By law. <laughs> <So> All right. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> Why, who do you support, or who would you like to support before you get forced into supporting that that lot? That's a line. 
Barcelona. 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 But I married, so disclaimer, ne? <laughs> you can't change. No, me, but I, it's my heart. Your, your heart when you're watching Man United playing Barcelona, then you know that you will uh. still hope Barcelona win <laughs> secretly. <laughs> yes. Then I have to dress up for him that night if I cheer for Barcelona, just to make it up to him. <laughs> yeah. Baby. What do you? What do you, have, do you have to put on a Man U shirt? Or <laughs> <laughs> you sounded like Eartha Kitt there with that. <laughs> sounded like who? Eartha Kitt. <laughs> That's yes. it. Yes. <laughs> you must know who Eartha Kitt is to me. Who's Eartha You've never heard of Eartha Kitt? No. Dan's looking for I'm going to reveal one all of his now. songs. And it sounded exactly... I'm going to ask you to do that one more time. I'm going to ask you to growl <laughs> in a sexual way. Um, all the way Earth, oh my, alphabetical is not... So now, there it is. There was this Grasser comedy evening last week. Were you there? No, I wasn't. I was ah, breastfeeding. You were I breastfeeding. Do, do you have yes. a kid now? Two. Hey. Two. Yeah. I have ten triple one on standby. I'm like... I, I know I'm going to have to turn myself in at some point. So it's just the speed dial. Because I've got a four-year-old. Yeah. I mean, three-year-old and a four-month-old. So Whoa. the three-year-old is is a test. It's it's Every morning is, is I'm being tested. I haven't touched him. Um, I, I know I can blame white folk for the <laughs> naughty corner. I'm not satisfied by the naughty corner. It does something maybe for him. I, I'm not getting any physical gratification out of Naughty Corner. Okay. But, uh, yeah, the four-month-old is great. He just drinks and drinks and drinks. It's... <laughs> and... Um, and then flex out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But... But I have to, you know, because it's, you know, it's World Breastfeeding Month this month. I didn't know that. It's World Breastfeeding Although Month. Although my, my little uh, 21-month-old uh, has discovered my... My breasts. Oh yeah. Because Sweet. now he looks at because if you're sitting in bed without a shirt on and quite sizable. Because obviously he's still breastfeeding. Shut up, Simon. <laughs> he's talking about. He's still. Do I have man boobs? Boobs. Yeah. Not enough, chump. Yeah, exactly. You just I'm, have I'm the I'm nipples of excitement, but you don't go. have the <laughs> enough you. of the mass. You need mass. Me and me. Don't. Well, you see, that's uh, oh, yeah. not about you. Oh yeah. You just grab yourself. A, oh yeah. Johnny's got oh, man boobs. Oh lord. The way he just Stop wriggles them is just so oh, funny. Yeah, but it's beautiful. I'm like totally, yeah. yeah that's you, I like that. <laughs> no, he sits in now and because he breastfeeds still with my wife, <laughs> then suddenly he, he sort of looks at it and he looks across at me, he looks <laughs> down, and now he's got this new thing about poking into my <laughs> nipples. <laughs> and I'm like, they don't work. <laughs> he's, trying to tell, he's trying to tell you inadequate. It's like, Daddy, you're inadequate. These things are just there. These these should be working. Yeah. I love my son. When he's breastfeeding, he looks at his dad like, that's right, neck up, back up now. These are mine now. Because <laughs> nature is cruel like that. Didn't you notice like when your wife was pregnant, did you notice her boobs are like, Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. But you couldn't touch them. Like you look at them and she wants to kill you. <laughs> and then the baby arrives and the baby's like, mine. I I don't mind that somehow. I, I've, I don't know if I should be saying that. No, please don't. <laughs> I've got the thought, yes, let's I have a problem with, with suddenly. <laughs> oh, no, but I just have a problem with suddenly partaking in something that where your child feeds. I don't want to hear about you okay. being intimate this or anything. This could anything. go, I never, know, right? Ever. Visuals. Having, visuals. Having like flowers across. in the field, flowers like in the field. Like this morning. No, never mind. Flowers never in the mind. Field, flowers <laughs> in the field, flowers in the field. <laughs> my granny, no. my granny, my granny. <laughs> <laughs> but granny. you know what's BS, right? <laughs> you know what's BS? They're like, oh, if you breastfeed, you're going to lose all this weight. Yeah. yeah, you lose the weight in your tits, bruh. <laughs> Everywhere else, nothing. I'm like, I'm still waiting. Hello. <laughs> I'm like 24 7. <laughs> like, suck some, put some effort into me. <laughs> 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 it's not working. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> not working. All right, Tumi Meraki on LOLZ. More from her coming up in just a moment. Can you do that, uh, do that growl again for <laughs> us? <laughs> There we go. It's exactly the same. You are the re-embodiment of Eartha Kitt. Holy <laughs> Yes, she is. Balls Visual Radio, 91.3 FM. Alternative FM in the Western Cape. Balls Visual Radio with Eartha Kitt. Uh, you know her well. You know the music. Yes, you know the song. Yes. Cool song. Takes me back. Eartha Kitt. Yes. From 19... She goes back a long way, but that song was 1980-something. No, she died four years ago. Did she die four years ago? 2008. Oh, she was it Natural Causes. 
look at a picture of her. I think she was almost dead when they took this. <laughs> well, she, she had a kit on. I've seen it. She had a few. Uh, yeah, she loved wearing those leopard print uh, yeah. cat suits. <laughs> and she had a few facelifts. So you think? Yeah, one or two. <laughs> no, she. Uh, uh, that woman scared me. <laughs> I wouldn't want to bump into her in a dark alley someday because you. She, she just looked like she was <laughs> trouble. It's like a female Michael Jackson. So nasty. Actually, there's a picture there where she looks like Whitney almost. A little that bit. That one. Whitney on a bad day. <laughs> it's on the a drugs. Bad day, on a bad <laughs> day. <laughs> yes. It's the drugs. Jimmy Meraki on LOLZ today here at Balls Visual Radio. Just to let you know, um, I have to do uh, talking about Castle uh, Lager Murray Cup, uh, where we're going to be this Saturday, and Tank is now going to be doing commentary for us. I um, he, he sent me a message going. You know he's got his show now. Is his show now? Yeah, five now. to it's six. On now, huh? Five to six. Yeah. With Bob Skinstad doing the curtain raise. Yeah, Bob did the warm up for him, and now he's on air. Uh, he's going to be doing a crossing with me uh, sometime after five thirty. So I set him around about twenty to six. And uh, I thought what we'll do is we'll we'll take it live. Okay, so, on the show. Okay. Yeah, on the show. So we'll talk to him through our show. Yes. And he talks to us through, he's on Two Oceans Vibe. You'll talk to him through his show. Oh, sounds very complicated and very sexy. Yeah. Let's do it. So uh, we'll see how it goes. He wants to talk about the Castle Lago America. Okay. So, so uh, until we get to that, obviously we have Tumi Meraki here. And uh, did you follow the Olympics at all? Yes, I did. Mostly the eye candy. But I did. Who was um, your eye candy? I was watching the rowing. And that was uh, I can't in the rowing. Uh, but wait, you're a man. Oh, oh, I can't. Yes, okay. I, I saw candy. the I saw the podium. No, <laughs> no, no. Just, let's not. Yeah. Ne? No, I Thank did. Thank you. Uh, um, yeah, you Kate, didn't. Kate's no, Johnny, shaking her head. Yeah. No, no, because Johnny is saying Lawrence and Joe. I'm like, no. Because I'm thinking of this conversation we just had, where you go to. A, foreign land yes and then all these black men because you're black girl and yes then, and you end up like with <laughs> them just but i don't want you i want i want a vanilla i'm, I'm chocolate i'm enough chocolate for me i just want vanilla walk away right now walk <laughs> that's the essence <laughs> that's the essence. <laughs> that's the essence so who is the eye candy in the rowing just all of them just all of them. I just, you know what? Me, my concentration span is horrible, which is probably why I'm not a big sports freak. Mm. Because then I must remember people's names mm. and it's too much. Yeah. So me, I'm like, oh, that's pretty. I enjoyed the gymnastics though, because for a very brief period in my life, I did gymnastics. And this one I was in primary school mm. and my mother was in denial. So I was, I was doing gymnastics. <laughs> 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 so I love watching what it actually, like, you know, when these girls how invested they are and how they fall apart I was watching the Russian chicks mm. yo those chicks are broken like it's she looks before she messes up you go oh, she's gonna mess up and she does Yeah. she gets this look where you, she knows she knows she took off wrong and yeah. then she just goes ah, yeah, and then it's over but it's that look of my family's about to die back yes. in Russia mm. oh my, oh so yeah, I right, it up right. I don't know if they do that right. in Russia anymore I mean it's kind of progressive no, maybe, maybe the Chinese maybe, maybe the, the Chinese, Chinese. <laughs> the Chinese the Chinese kind of, I think they yeah. just off them right there actually I don't even wait for them to get home. You guys are horrible. I know you liked in the rain. Hey, <laughs> hey we're flying your family over <laughs> to <laughs> London for the Olympics. Why? We're going to take them all out. <laughs> for <laughs> dinner. <laughs> yeah. Because of your performance. Um, <laughs> no, but I've been horrible. But you know, when I know South Africa is taking part, I'll watch, even though I don't get it. But to me, um, why are gymnastic running? outfits so bad? They look like bad 70s disco music videos sometimes. But it's gymnastics. What's that are you looking for, my friend? I guess you must just watch yeah, the ligaments like doing their thing. <laughs> Those chicks with zero fat. They look like the day the fat to come. They look like if, if, a, if cellulite was thinking of making an appearance, like I dare you. I'm going to tumble you out or something. They're like hectic. Those chicks are, they fit. You know, sometimes I'm like, because I've got my, my HD screen. I'm yeah. like looking. I'm hoping to spot fat. If I spot the slightest bit of fat, my day is made. Just it's one little orange just peel. Just a little bit of mm. just just a little dimple. Nothing. nothing. It's horrible. And then I go home. I'm like, get me and my potholes. And these chicks <laughs> have nothing on them. And You'll me. see that in the snatch, eh? In the wrestlers. Johnny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, but they grab each other. Hey, it's very Ooh, intimate. Terrible. That wrestling. Mm. Like, who after the wrestling, you're like, hey, baby, it's couple time. <laughs> 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 it's nip off. <laughs> it's crazy. But have you watched? You ask why the outfits are so ridiculous. They're but terrible. They have don't. you seen some? Have you seen some of the stuff in the gymnastics though? The ribbons, yeah, and the hula hoops. Yeah. But I it's mean, pretty when it's not working. gymnastics. 
when they're twirling. That's rhythmic gymnastics. That's not a real that's sport. That's still gymnastics. Yeah, well, you that's guys say not it's not gymnastics sport. and then it says rhythmic gymnastics. Then you're saying gymnastics, so then mm. you're dis- no, that's one of those sports like the the equestrian thing where the horse lifts one leg and they get a gold medal. Yes, it's called. Uh, um, and then you got Usain Bolt running nine point <laughs> six, and they consider that medal. They get the same medal. Dressage. I don't think it's fair. <laughs> but that's Usain guy. He doesn't even put effort, eh? No, he yes. takes the piss and wins a gold medal. That's freaky. Yeah, yeah. And and he's like some. Here, yeah, hi, man. Me not go on a jog, man. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> and they confiscated his skipping rope. No. Yeah. Why? Uh, uh, not allowed. It's in, in for the hard jump. I don't know what happened. Uh, 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 it might be a weapon or something. It's considered a weapon. You can, I don't think you can take a skipping rope onto an SAA flight. I'm really trying to be really? creative and think how that works as a weapon. Yeah, I don't know why they banned him from taking it. Johnny never found out. Wow. But you can't you can't oh take you can't take one on board an airline in this country. But you can a take skipping a rope. rope. Nope. I suppose you could strangle someone with it. Yeah, you no. can strangle but the pilot. But then you can wear a belt. I took a fr- exactly, but that's the whole point. You can uh, you can't take a knife on, but then when you sit in business class, they give you a metallic a metal knife. Oh, that's fork. nice. Oh, that's fork. nice. So what's the big bi- what's the big deal? Mm. I, t- I took it a non-stick frying pan once and I got yeah. away with it. A non-stick frying. Oh, pan. Oh, it was non-stick. That's why. But that's. <laughs> 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 yeah, John, in case John does a Charlie Chaplin scene <laughs> in the cockpit yeah. you know, wow. going to hit the pilot with a frying pan <laughs> those big giraffe things you know the giraffes that everyone buys the, here no not everyone the Germans all the foreigners buy here yes yeah can't take those on board with you either good those things just look like a health hazard they must just I'm like why <laughs> Oh, the African, the Chadakov, the ancestor, the, the giraffe, they take it home. Why? <laughs> These things annoy me. And they're always, always, then they bump you in the head because sitting in the aisle, and then they come with this thing, and they're freaking dragging it, and you're like knocked out, and then they must take up the whole space in the cabin, and it's annoying. They don't fit there. I think they, uh, at, the, at the, the various uh, flea markets, they make them so that they are just two inches too long to fit into that overhead cabin. <laughs> I, don't even know why they, I don't even know why they buy them in the first place because you're going to rock up in Germany, Australia or whatever yeah. and they're going to take one look at that piece of wood. It's going to go on the fire. <laughs> it's going to go on the it's fire. You rock up in Australia with a blade of grass in your shoe and they detain you. Mm. Yeah. you know, they a are blade so of anal. grass. You know, they're so anal about seeds. You're bringing diseases into the country. Yeah, and you jerk built on. But yeah, well, don't even go there. I mean, yeah. you But like, they catch you with a seed. They ask You've you where traveled you to from. me? I have, but not to Australia. For well, you're you not missing anything. Really? No, I don't no. even want to go there. Under. No, where did you? Where have you been? I've been to Paris. I've been to Prague. I've been to London. I've been to Ghana. I've been to Egypt. I've been to Lesotho. Going to Lesotho is not traveling. It is traveling. No, yes, it is. You must always check out your backyard. You mustn't just <laughs> sitting in South Africa. You're comfortable. See what's happening. <laughs> How are the weeds doing? I'm How just the saying, you can't doing? consider that international travel when it's it's quicker to get to Lesotho than Durban. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. yeah. It's but trickier though. That is much trickier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I always have to put my tongue on Rome. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and uh, did you perform in those places? Um, I haven't performed in Lesotho, but yes, I've performed in the other places. Is it? So yeah, and Ghana included. Yes, yes, I have. I've performed everywhere except Lesotho. Is it? We have traveled. Where was the best place you performed? Where was your best it was, international reception? It was, it was France. It was France, really? really enough. Yes. Uh, but mostly because I felt like Sarki Bartman. <laughs> because... <laughs> All these, <laughs> <laughs> all these French men were like, Woo, Botox, mm, mm, Africa. Mm. <laughs> they were just so excited. Cause I, but I don't blame them. I mm. noticed a lot of black women there are like tall, thin, dark, mm. old, you know, from these Francophone cities. And me, I arrive all cavacious, high yellow. <laughs> and they were like, Yes, Africa. <laughs> They also allowed more than one husband there too, aren't they? Hey? The French allowed more than one husband or one. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, the French ah. men. Normal. The French men are allowed to have more than one husband. <laughs> <laughs> and they're also allowed to have a bath <laughs> once a week. <laughs> yeah. They were lovely. But uh, there wouldn't have been a big expat. Uh, I mean, you, the the crowds you performed to then all f- local French people. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, those, those, those were at the university, though, so it was pretty global in that, in a sense. But did, I mean, do the they understand the humor? Because South African humor is so, so unique. Yes. I mean, do you have to, do you have to redo your entire thing to? Uh, no. Well, yes. You can't have your isms because then you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, they're with it. 
Okay. They're with it. Well, kudos. Eh? And of, of course, London's always a great place for South Africans no, to work. London not. is lovely. No, oh, no, no. It is. It is. Oh. It, is. Oh. it is. Especially when I hear them speak. You know what frustrates me about London? I get it with the missionaries. They brought English. Yeah. We speak English. Then you go there and they're, I don't know what. <laughs> Cockney. The, the fear are. The fear are. I'm like, hey, it's theater. The fear are. No. Your people came to my country, my continent. They said it's the theater. Yeah, we can go to our fear are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, like and what was the Egypt like? That you said? Egypt was insane in the membrane. Okay, it was. Did you perform crazy. there? No, no. Oh. John, if you give one sphinx or or whatever pun now, <laughs> he was sphinxing about um, it. I will knock you out. <laughs> he was sphinxing about it, weren't you? <laughs> no, I'm not. No. Anyway, I'm just but there's, there's a excited here, sphinx. Hmm? This is one yeah. of those guys you can't talk archaeology with, hey, because he gets excited. John, you like Homo erectus? Oh my goodness. <laughs> His other, n- his other nickname is Homo habilis. It's a homo. <laughs> yes. You're his horrible. Other, his other name is Odie. <laughs> <laughs> you know Odie from Garfield? Yes. Odie. That's John. How old were you when you started doing comedy? 24. 24. Yeah, that was Why? quick. How does someone decide to do comedy or does someone tell you that you must go into comedy? Um, I was studying dramatic art at Vips, so okay. uh, I guess it happened organically. Oh, but what happened is I actually had a job and the contract was supposed to end in November. Doing but, what? Let um, me guess. Let me guess. I'm looking at Tumi going agency advertising. Oh, no. I've never had that kind never. of Never. Ever. Okay. I'll just... <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing? I was doing shows all over the country, doing puppetry shows and puppetry. Yeah. Yes, puppetry wow. and little plays for schools, educational theatre, and the contract ended in June. Mm-hmm. So then I was broke, and me, I thought that there are skills I can use to make money, mm. and I didn't mean standing on Oxford Road at nine pm. <laughs> <laughs> um, so <laughs> I decided to do open spots, right? Yeah. So there was this lady doing comedy who I think she still does comedy, Judy Jake, yeah. and she said, "Dude." do five minutes at cool runnings so i went to cool runnings i did five minutes and then it was a beautiful five minutes and she's like dude you did great do five minutes at carnival city did i not know that carnival city is in brackpan <laughs> did i yes let's go let's go get to brackpan uh, end of the month Uh oh middle-aged dutchman drunk <laughs> that's what it is literally the show before me is a tits and ass show uh, oh, so is it? they're happy they like the brains are dead they officially switched off their brains and they're happy. And then you come when you try and do commit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Crash and burn. Crashing and burning is putting it lightly in my bra. Me, I died dead. Is it? <laughs> me, I died and I even made it into the afterlife. Dead. Oh. <laughs> dead. I did come back from that because uh, I, I've, I've actually never asked a comedian about, uh, like if they've ever had one of those where you have yeah. the uh, the cricket moment. Oh. You know, when, you, when you're doing your stuff and all you're getting. Is uh, it's just the sound of crickets going? That's it. There's uh, no response, no reaction, nothing. The crickets held a concert. They didn't even <laughs> cricket, cricket. It was like a full-on orchestra. Everything. Oh, no, um, that's I horrible. went back. I went yes. back though. I went back. I was like, no, I will not die in Canval seat. Went back, and I just. I was like, but Manier. Yeah, yeah. It's a horrible yeah. sound. John but gets it a lot. John gets yeah. it a lot. Yeah. So, so I decided to get checked out a bit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I decided to fix my intro. I fixed my intro and I said, okay, first of all, the madam gave me tonight off to do comedy. So it's all right. You can laugh. <laughs> ah, they so much relaxed. <laughs> they so much relaxed. And then I told them about my love affair with Steve Hoffmeyer and then I was ah, in with them. I was you. in with them and it was done. It was done. Yes. Because five minutes when nobody's laughing must seem like an eternity. Oh. Dude, oh. It's, it's hectic. But It's not funny. It's not, but you know what? Me, <laughs> me, I'm like, no, but I want. I'm one of those people who, if I feel like I can do it, I'm yes. going to go back and keep doing it. I'll hit that wall until I crack something, you know? Um, so, yes. And then I decided. Travel, yeah. um, then Joe Parker called me. Funny enough, after my comeback night, he called me and he said, how would you like to make money? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, he started paying Oxford me. Road. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been expensive though, eh? I would have been expensive. But yeah, that's, that's how I got into comedy. And um, Well, there would have been one price for the French and another <laughs> price for the Poms. <laughs> but you wouldn't have understood what they said anyway. So. Unlike in Kensington. And I love fancy a good time. <laughs> I think you're fit, yeah. I think you're very fit. Can you I fit. get you a pint? You want to get a pint, yeah? Let's get a pint. 
speak properly. Where, uh, so now with, with Joe, I mean, that was before his comedy club, though. Huh? Um, that was before this one, yes, yeah. that was for the Monte Casino one. And the fact that he believed in me and he wanted to pay me, and at the time it was very exciting how much mm. he offered me, he offered me like 500 bucks. I was like, what? Really? <laughs> you, uh, you at the comedy awards as well? Yes, I was at the comedy did you awards. Win? Did you win awards? No, I was there to watch, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't did you nominated. Perform? No, I didn't perform. I performed at the first ones. That yeah. was very exciting. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm still trying to meet Steve Hofmeer. Because that was the first time I mentioned my love for him. And I thought his publicity people will hear it and then hook us up. I'm mm. still waiting. I want to give him some serious affirmative action. Aren't serious. you going to... But, but he's, got a, <laughs> he's got that roast coming up. Yeah. And on, I will uh, be there. S- Are you there? I am so there. I've so there my it is. Outfit. I'm going to so jump him. OMG. You know those concerts <laughs> where there's that guy from the crowd who jumps onto the stage and uh. then the bodyguards have to jump up? Uh. That's me That's at you. the roast. I am a But are, are you doing a thing at the roast as well? Are you just going to watch? No, I'm just there to watch. You know, people don't hire me when I... What, a, what do you mean? It's sad. You know, people have stopped being scared of meeting quotas. That's what's going on. <laughs> I'm going to start pulling that card. I'm going to be like, listen, hire me if not for anything else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. That, so I'm going to be there. Yeah, I mean, that's interesting. They're doing Because uh, Comedy Central obviously do a lot of the... Uh, they have a Charlie Sheen and all the international guys. Yeah. Now they're doing South Africans on the roast. So Steve yeah. is the first one. Who else do you think should be Julius. roasted? Julius. Oh, not yeah. even thinking. Oh, yeah, you yeah, think he'd yeah, do yeah. it, though? He would. He but would. He would. Someone would make him in that corner of theirs. He would. I'm not entirely convinced the guy works by himself. Have you, have you met him? No. no. Yes, yes, I, I have. I have. Has He's he got a sense of humor, though, twice. or not? I mean, will he, would he take? Because, I mean, obviously, guys are going to gonna climb in. But he would, would he laugh at himself? Here's the complication about this guy. I interacted with him on two different levels. When you speak to him in English, I swear, it's like English is his political language. He becomes this robot. You, you, it's not a conversation anymore. It's, I don't know what it is. It's, you're reading a book. It's, 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 it's propaganda. When you speak to him in, in Sipedi, which is his mother tongue, he's this dude. He's a proper dude. I can see myself having a beer with him. Yeah. So I don't know. This is, I swear, I'm convinced. Somehow, lost in translation. these young kid. no, I think his generation, they got brainwashed. <laughs> And then they function like that. Yeah. I'm, I'm convinced. Because he's a cool guy. You can hang out with him and have a proper beer with him. Yeah. I, I Actually, mm. you know what I found myself doing the other night driving home? Mm. Trying to do his voice. Because I heard him <laughs> on radio on another station talking. And I was like, because he's got that. It's almost like uh, he's in speech mode whenever he talks. I will not. <laughs> the blood, blood. <laughs> it's like some of those old World War Two speeches <laughs> that you used to hear from Mussolini it's, and it's all those guys. Mussolini, yeah. You know who he reminds me of? Remember Mind Your Language? Uh, I remember the name. What was that? Uh, it was a sitcom, a uh, UK sitcom with this English teacher yes, who was teaching yes, all these yes, foreign yes, nationals. Yes, yeah. He reminds me of that Chinese chick who kept going, <laughs> Chame Mao Se! Every time. She has to say, Chame Mao! Reminds me no, of one of South Africa's leading comedians at the moment and uh, may it be for a long time as well. Very I don't believe that, that nonsense about people aren't booking you. Uh, I'm sure you're you. very busy. It sounds like you are as well. Thanks so much for joining us on LOLZ. Thank you, sir. Very, Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you very so much, much at home. Oh. Felt very much like the old South Africa. Recommend. Three white men <laughs> and a black female. <laughs> <laughs> Where? <laughs> What? No, Simon, don't even go any further. <laughs> I don't know, even right? Stop right it's there. It's going there. Stop right there. Slippery slope. Slippery slope. You had already had a moment. <laughs> <laughs> if you wink once. <laughs> <laughs> See me after the show, Tim. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you've got to, you've got to just recommend somebody that we should uh, book for next week or the week after. Who would you recommend? Because this is how it works. It's been a chain of since uh, since we started with Chris Chris Forrest. I was about to say Chris. <laughs> No, we're not. We haven't full circled yet. <laughs> There's a lot more we can still go through. Uh, Jason Goliath. <gasps> Jason Goliath. And did you hear the young lady gasp yeah, for air? We haven't did had him either. Air. So j- where is he based? In Joburg. Yes, he is. Jason Goliath. We'll try and team up for next Wednesday on LOLZ just after five o'clock. Tumi Marakis, give it up for yeah. him. Yeah. Awesome, awesome to have you here. I know it's difficult. Comedians love to have that uh, crowd. Yeah. <laughs> feedback and radio and TV is kind of difficult when there's a the few people yes, sitting around it's very scary it's really cool having you here thanks for popping in to me Meraki on Balls Visual Radio here is we the best on three one two three we the best 2pm to 6pm Mondays
Fridays live on balls.co.za. Balls.co.za.